6 p.m. Pakistan Standard Time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Aisha Nayab. First, the headlines. Caretaker Prime Minister highlights energy, infrastructure, agriculture, IT and manpower as potential sectors of cooperation with Saudi Arabia. President has called for a greater focus on promoting preventive health care in country. France will provide over $3 million to support UNICEF's humanitarian response in flood-affected areas of Sindh. Federal government has planned to launch mobile registration vehicle centers in various districts of Sindh and Balochistan. Pakistan's ambassador to the United States has reiterated Islamabad's desire for dialogue with New Delhi to resolve all outstanding issues. And England beat Australia by 3-1 in second semi-final of FIFA Women's World Cup in Sydney today. And now the news in detail. Ambassador to Saudi Arabia to Pakistan, Nawaf bin Saeed Ahmad al-Maliki, called on caretaker Prime Minister Anwarul Haq Kakar in Islamabad today. The Saudi ambassador congratulated the Prime Minister on assuming office and conveyed best wishes on behalf of Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman and the people of Saudi Arabia. Speaking on the occasion, the Prime Minister said that Pakistan and Saudi Arabia enjoy historic and deep-rooted ties. He emphasized that the recently instituted Special Investment Facilitation Council would continue to work as before and would lay the foundations to fast-track foreign investments, particularly from Saudi Arabia. He highlighted energy, infrastructure, agriculture, IT and manpower as potential sectors of cooperation. Anwarul Haqqaqar thanked the Saudi government for its consistent support to Pakistan's economic stability and development. He particularly mentioned the large number of Pakistanis working in Saudi Arabia and requested the Saudi side to continue to extend all possible facilitation to them. The Prime Minister lauded the vision of the Saudi leadership and said that Saudi Arabia could always count on Pakistan as its trusted and reliable partner. The Saudi ambassador reiterated that Saudi Arabia and Pakistan are bound together in a fraternal relationship characterized by mutual trust and close cooperation on all bilateral and regional issues of common interest. Former Provincial Minister of Balochistan, Mir Sarfazaz Chakar Dumki, Agha Shakil Durrani and the former Senator Saif Maksi called on caretaker Prime Minister Anwarul Haq Kakar in Islamabad today and felicitated him on assuming the office. The two leaders extended best wishes to the caretaker Prime Minister. President Arif Alvi has called for a greater focus on promoting preventive health care in the country. Addressing Med Health Expo and Summit 2023 in Islamabad today, he stressed that preventive health care will help reduce burden of communicable and non-communicable diseases. The president noted that Africa is a big market and there is a great scope for our pharma exports to the continent. He said there is a scope of research in pharmaceutical industry by the use of artificial intelligence. Secretary of Foreign Affairs Asad Majid Khan paid a favor call on President Dr. Arif Alvi in Islamabad today. The President felicitated Asad Majid Khan on successfully completing his tenure as the 31st Foreign Secretary. He also appreciated the Secretary's professionalism and the initiatives on the foreign front. France has allocated 3.27 million US dollars to support UNICEF's humanitarian response in flood affected areas of Sindh. In a statement, Ambassador of France to Pakistan Nicholas Gale said this vital funding will strengthen primary health care and immunization services in most affected districts in Sindh, targeting 1.9 million children and women. He said Sindh province was particularly hard hit by last year's floods. Meanwhile, the UNICEF representative in Pakistan, Abdullah Fadil, in a statement said the onset of monsoon exasperates health risks for children and women in flood-affected areas. He said spread of diseases such as malaria, dengue and acute watery diarrhea are a particular concern. 
The federal government has planned to launch mobile registration vehicle centers in various districts of Sindh and Balochistan, intending beneficiaries of Benazir Income Support Program in remote areas of the country. The first ever such facility has already been inaugurated in Karachi this month. The mobile registration vehicle centers are being started in 25 districts of Sindh and Balochistan. The provincial government of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa has barred all government servants from using social media to discuss or share information on issues relating to government business. According to the notification of KP Establishment Department, the concerned official would take prior approval of the administrative secretary, head of the attached department or commission, as the case may be. Provincial Disaster Management Authority Punjab has said that India released 141,000 Q6 of water from Pong Dam and 83,703 Q6 of water from Bhakra Dam in Sutlej River. In an alert issue today, the PDM spokesperson said from Hiraki Patan, up to 125,000 Q6 of water will enter the Pakistani territory and in the next 24 hour, moderate to high level of flood is expected at Ganda Singh in River Sutlej. This is Radio Pakistan. Pakistan's ambassador to the United States, Sardar Masood Khan, has said that America can help resolve the dispute of Jammu and Kashmir. Talking to our private news channel, he said that Pakistan wants to hold dialogue with India for resolving all outstanding issues, including the Kashmir dispute. To a question about China-Pakistan economic corridor, he said that the U.S. did not have any objection to it. Massive anti-India and pro-Kashmir freedom rallies were held in several cities of the UK and Europe to mark India's Independence Day as Black Day. The participants drew the world attention towards the Indian suppression of Kashmiris and Sikh community, saying India had no right to celebrate freedom while Kashmiris are living under its new colonial rule. They gathered outside Indian High Commission in London, Indian Consulate in Birmingham and Indian Embassy in Copenhagen to renew their pledge to not sit back until the people of Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir get freedom from the illegal occupation of India. In Iraq, at least three Islamic State militants have been killed in an airstrike on their hideout in Kirkuk province. According to Iraqi Joint Operations Command, warplanes conducted the airstrike in the rugged area of Wadi al Sheikh. In Libya, at least 27 people have been killed and over 100 injured in clashes between rival militia in Tripoli. The intense fighting flared after military men from the Special Deterrence Force detained a senior commander of the 444 Brigade at the airport in Tripoli. The United Nations has warned that more than 1 million people have fled the conflict in Sudan and are dying due to lack of food and health care after four months of fighting. In a joint statement, UN agencies said the situation is spiraling out of the control as time is running out for farmers to plant the crops that will feed the Sudanese and medical supplies are also scarce. Ukraine says it will not cede its territories to Russia to obtain NATO membership. In a statement on social media, Ukrainian Foreign Ministry spokesperson Olegon Nikolko said the talks about Ukraine joining NATO in exchange of giving up parts of Ukrainian territories are absolutely unacceptable. In Niger, at least 17 soldiers have been killed and 20 others injured in an ambush in a suspected terrorist attack near Kotlovo. According to Niger Defense Ministry, soldiers were ambushed while traveling between Boni and Trorodi. England beat Australia by 3-1 in the second semi-final of FIFA Women's World Cup 2023 in Sydney today. The final of the mega event will be played between Spain and England at the same venue on Sunday at 3 p.m. Pakistan Standard Time. And finally, the weather report. Hot and humid weather is expected in plain areas of the country during the next 12 hours. However, rain, wind, thunder shower is expected at isolated places in northeast Punjab, Potohar region, Gilgit, Baltistan and Kashmir. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com forward slash Radio Pakistan News Official.